all the time, thinking that we have any, <laughs> any kind of clue what other people are thinking, believing that we're always right. And I can understand how the idea of my truth and your truth and their truths, I understand how that emerges, particularly in recent history, that there's so much information that we're bombarded with. And I think people are very, very confused and constantly trying to make sense of things that are not logical, that people have not reasoned themselves into. So how we expect from a logical point of view to reason our way out of something that was started for completely bonkers or ideological reasons is, is beyond me. And what I really think is important is that we start to embrace the true meaning of humility, of being humble. And the trouble with encouraging people to do this is a lot of people mistake humility for weakness, for being smaller, you know, for not being able to voice our opinions and that there being some other force that is pushing us down all the time. And that's not what humility is. I believe that the true meaning of humility is openness and, and actually in real time, in real world ways, observing things that are happening and not allowing ourselves, actually, this is important, not allowing ourselves to be swayed by the opinions of others just because we enjoy consuming their content because we like the majority of what they say. But there's no one person in the world who has all of the, of the answers. And I was watching um, Fox and Father with Lawrence Fox and uh, Father Calvin Robinson this morning, and I really enjoy watching them. Um, but today's episode, well, the one that I watched today, the most recent one, um, we discover that uh, Calvin has given up on, on England, on given up on the UK, and is going stateside across the pond. Um, and of course, he's been accused of running away from the problem. And the truth is, maybe he is. Maybe he's just found that people aren't receptive to his message. But what was really, really fascinating of watching this particular podcast was people are against, you know, people by principle, and I'm against war, um, I, listening to him say, people have lost the fight, you know, we've got to fight. And it's like, well, we know. <laughs> We fundamentally know, and it, it amazes me that people can contradict themselves because taking up the good fight is not the same proposition as going to war as we understand it, because countries don't go to war, governments do. Um, but just what amazes me is that despite hundreds or even thousands of years of human history, that we still believe that conflict is is the way out of any bind, and I, 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 I fundamentally believe that it that it isn't. And what I also fundamentally endorse is that the only thing that's really made a positive difference to the world is business, uh, of, and the true sense of business, you know, of trade of cooperation with each other, exchanges of value. That's the only long-term solution I see to any cultural or political issue, that the more that people can work together and share in common values, I think that that is the most powerful and simplest way to, for people to actually interact. Will everybody buy into that vision? No, no, they won't. But we, our thinking has become, on political and social issues, have become, has become so enormous that we're constantly pushing the horizon out and out and out rather than, than bringing things closer to home and actually f tackling 
the fundamental unit of the of 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 civilization that if we adopt individual personal responsibility and do unto others as we would wish to be done to i think that that is a very very powerful way forward to peace